folks, and uh, we've got a caller. Daryl, are you there? Good morning, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. How are you? Pretty good. What can I do for you, my friend? So you were mentioning the S&P uh, at 2787. I don't see what, what you're looking at there. I, I've been, you know, drawing the retracements here. It looks like um, 70 would be your first pullback, you know, the, the 23 pullback. The 0.382 comes in at like 2742. I was just okay. going to see if you could map this out for us here because it's obviously oh. had a huge move. And, okay. You know, yeah, well, I, I posted the chart. I posted the chart of the um, – E-mini S&P, and as you can see, we haven't filled that gap from Sunday night as of yet. But what we've done so far last night, after we sold off 40 handles, we've rallied back to the 382 level, which comes in at that uh, 2787 level. That's the exact 382 okay. level. And the only reason I think it's important, Daryl, is because we hit the exact same number, the 382 number, in the NASDAQ, and that also... Uh, stopped it at least temporarily, so that's why I think it's an important number today. I, I hope that helps because I do watch the Nasdaq because of the Fang stocks and all the free promotion that they get, and it does move around a lot. It's the pork bellies of the indexes, but I hope that helps. That that's what I'm looking at. So if we stop, you thinking that's kind of the resistance up there, and then we we, we continue to try to keep pulling back. Well, I understand. Okay. Yeah, you have to pay attention to it because of two factors: the fact that the Nasdaq hit the exact number and stopped, and also the S and P hit the exact number and stopped. And if it goes above those numbers, it's going to rally more. That's the that's the way I look at it, uh, at least so far. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Merry Christmas. Talk to you soon. Hey, thank you very much, Daryl. I really appreciate it. Okay, folks.